We built basically the biggest and the smallest red cameras we could get our hands on. What's up guys? Welcome to LA AV Club blog number one. We're here in Vegas. So one, it's a vlog. I just a said blog. That. You said blog. What I, Do you writing it? We're here shooting a commercial that's actually all about Vegas. Blake Regal's on a flight right now. He's the director. I don't know, hopefully he gets here in time. He'll probably miss Bass Pro Shops. All right, so we have basically the biggest red digital cinema camera we can find and the smallest red digital cinema, cinema camera we can find. That was actually the most succinct way to put that. Yeah. I want to make, I want to make it sound really important. We're using Cook S4 lenses that are made for a Super 35 sensor. This is a full frame sensor. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we just chop in a little bit. And now we're, uh, yeah, I think we're at 5K24 and that covers the 32. And we're going a little lower because we want to do 90 frames a second because it's a yeah. broadcast spot. It is. It's going so right we're going TV. by 30s instead of 24s. Exactly. That's math. We have the uh, red Komodo, which uh, goes up to 6K. It's, it's pretty a nice. Different, a little different in yeah. weight. I don't know if you guys could tell. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually kind of hard to lift that way. It uh, feels really good in your hands though. Total setup time and test time oh. for all the pieces and parts is about two hours if you're doing it properly. And then uh, total setup time and test time minus the two batteries, which would be easy, is maybe like 20 minutes on this. Maybe. So, yeah. I don't know, five? Probably. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I guess, the B cam? Well, the Dragon's the B cam. We have a Dragon coming uh, on a steady, and then we're also using a drone for a lot of stuff. Yeah. I don't know how much we'll use it, to be honest, but it's kind of fun to bring it. It didn't yeah. take up much space. It's so easy and portable, and you're getting such a great image, and it has that red quality, that red look to it. Look, always looks really Maybe nice. we'll use it on the way home at the drive in. Oh, we're definitely using it at drive in. Yeah, we got to. That makes sense. So we have the red Monstro, Cook S4s. We got a whole set. Thanks to Steve Moreno for the S4s and the uh, map boxes. We actually have two map boxes, uh, one for the steady, one for us. Uh, this is going to be all done on a, a easy rig. Oh, that's so to make life easier. The easy rig, you get yourself a little Kong clip, boom, and now it's quick release on and off which is nice. We got a Nucleus M to pull focus, going to a Shogun 7 somewhere over there. I think we already packed, we packed it up. Away. So we got the Nucleus M pulling focus. Uh, this has the ugliest strap I've ever seen. Yeah, we got the monitor up here with this little Condor blue clip to make it quick and easy. What would you say is the total weight of this? With the Kong way. clip or without? With the Kong clip. Okay. Let's go max weight here. Max we're, talking, weight. we're talking max oh, weight. Oh, like a scale. Oh my God. Don't drop it. Don't fuck No, it's all hooked. If this doesn't work, then we're fucked that, tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but what if your finger, what if you let go of Oh, my slips finger off? breaks? Okay, that's why I didn't use this finger. Wait, which one's the broken one? This one. I jammed it yesterday. I was driving and I hit like a, a curb. Ah! Because I was trying to get around a ambulance or a fire truck. Oh, you were? Yeah, <laughs> to avoid traffic. I'd say we're like 18 pounds. I don't know. That's a weird way to pick it up, though. I have no real no, gauge. This is, this is it. I know. It'd be all of it, but... That's, I'd say 20. That's it 20 could pounds. Be. Yeah, I mean, it's like a kettlebell. So now, what would you say the total weight of that is? Oh, I could tell you. It's no, uh, gotta add the lens. two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds. Ten times the well, weight. Well, with batteries, you're talking maybe like three and a half pounds. What's crazy, though, is if you're not shooting slow motion, your image out of this is going to be, besides full frame, which yeah, we're actually yeah, yeah. not even using with the Cook S4s because they're for a Super 35. Besides full frame, they're like... That image quality is like it's comparable. real close. It's comparable, I know. Besides frame rates. This is as as cleanly and mildly built as we need it for this shoot. This is actually not yeah. overbuilt. This is not overbuilt. No, this is actually, actually exactly uh, what we need. supposed to be run and gun originally. Yeah, this is for our run and gun shoot, FYI. This is, we're running and gunning with this. Oh, I guess we should say we have uh, RINDs or what are they? They're like the nice filters. Yeah, yeah. That remove the uh, we have BPM. IR. And yeah. then we have some Black Pro Mist because yeah, we did yeah. that instead of Glimmer. D-Tap yeah. out, powering the, uh, that's the big one that we had to borrow because I forgot yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, the small rig plate, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's an accessory, right? What made you want to use the Monstro oh. Ranger for this besides the fact you like to so, use the biggest possible camera you can, even though you own the smallest possible red? So the Steady Cam Up has a Dragon. So we're like, okay, I guess we could just match cameras. Let's get a Dragon. It'll be fairly cheap, whatever. And then my buddy is like, oh, my friend has a dragon, super good deal, blah, 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 like all this stuff, all these cards, this and that. So I was like, yeah, sure, great. This is gonna be so easy. We have two exact matching cameras. 
but it turns out it's the red Mysterium, which is the older brain, and it also only had two mags that are 120 gigs. You'll rip through those real which quick. Which I think I did the math, and it was 13 minutes of footage per mag. Yeah. At 90. We are like, we got this. Get this first try. <laughs> Honestly, the Dragon is probably my least favorite sensor, and the Mysterium is my least favorite body. body yeah. And uh, I was just like, we can't do that. Let's just, like, go over the top. <laughs> And I think we may accomplish that goal. <laughs> I just like the fact that if I want to, I can operate this camera with this monitor like this, and you have to operate that camera. Yeah, but I could do this too. Especially with the easy rig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's like the new GoPro? Holy sh! We can mount it on oh, top. Oh, it, it doesn't change the weight of this rig at all. <laughs> You wouldn't even notice it would actually just balance it better. Probably. I know it would actually, yeah, because it it's a perfectly... little back heavy to be honest. And if you added just an extra two and a half pounds and mounted that here, yeah. you'd have both A and B cam. Oh, it's so dumb. Same. Well, I would probably mount it here. Yeah, yeah, that would be a lot safer than mount this straight... map box that doesn't have any mounting points. <laughs> you just snap Steve's map box. I try to duct tape a Komodo to it, and especially with duct tape, not even gaff tape. Oh, Blake got off the plane. Uh, let's meet up soon. Yeah, I was gonna say it's time to go hit yeah. up a Bass Pro Shop session. Let's um, go right now, and then uh, we'll come back and meet them. All right, guys, thanks for watching the first ever vlog by LA AV Club. We're back. It's a lot of interesting information. I hope you've learned a lot. Yeah. See, Swipe I'll, up. J join our fans only. Hit the subscribe. My fans button. only. We don't have a mutual one. Join our only fans. I won't even <laughs> join. The <laughs> oh, little tip. A pro tip. All you gotta do is take the map box off. And then you can fly pretty damn secure without having to take the whole camera apart. For in the car? In the car, yeah, just strap this in. And that's pretty good. I might use one more moving blanket. I don't know where it is. And then this one, I don't know, maybe you like put it in your pocket. I might like need like Jenkos or something. Oh, I can almost get it in. That's what she said. Las Vegas Bass Pro Shops, we're coming. <laughs>